Well, I th- thought that was a heck of a college basketball game. Obviously disappointed we, we lost. Um, but, you know, some of the credit goes to Carolina and uh, a lot of the, the credit for uh, grinding it out and uh, was, was so shorthanded. You know, Nigel went down with a, uh, I don't know what it was called, a Charlie horse or knee or what have you, so he was not able to uh, play for a portion of the second half and we needed him. I thought Ja'Kai Robinson came in, gave us a nice 13 minutes of playing time. He hadn't played all year, but we needed a sub at the guard spot, and he's the one that uh, we asked to do it, and he did a, a very good job. He was a plus eight and in, in, uh, plus minus in the first half. We got off to a very bad start. Uh, the thing about North Carolina, they're exceptional at running the court, and they outran us in the first five minutes. We fought back at a one-point lead at the half, and then they came out and did the same thing. We were down 10 again, fought back, and put ourselves in a position actually to win the game late. Um, just we're not able to pull it off. Jim, that kind of that streakiness, he said, started off you know, not so great, do well in the second half of the first, second half of the first half, and then kind of the same thing repeats itself in the second half. Is that something that UNC did to you guys? Is that kind of a self inflicted thing? Um, I'd say both. I'd say, you know, Carolina was able to establish their game very, very quickly. And they had 15 points in before the at before 15 minutes. Oh, and 15 points in five minutes. How much is that in 40 if they kept that going? Who's got a calculator? 120. 120? You know, so our defense got better. We got back, and we started scoring. And we always play much better defense when we're scoring the ball well. Nigel hit some shots. Norshad got it going, going to the basket. And so we were able to fight back. But the second half, they came out and took control right away. And we called a timeout and, and uh, tried to get them going again. And down 10, down 10, down 10, down 10. And then, wait a minute, we're down seven now. Uh, now we're down five. And there's only five minutes left. And we're right there. But you know, we weren't able to pull it off. Loss, but your team did, they came back twice from big deficits. Yeah, I, you know, I, mean, I, I, know, I know this team very, very well. The, the, the difficult part for us is uh, we're not that deep. You know, we have 11 scholarship players. A lot of teams have 13. And we always have some key guy hurt. All right? Today it was Keyshawn George. So you, you're always – you, you're changing your starting lineup. You're changing your, your rotation. And at this time of the year, that's really difficult. I told you, Kai Robinson, at the shoot-around today, look, it, don't be surprised if I put you in early. Because I looked at our roster, and quite frankly, he's the only guard substitute we have. A guy like uh, Christian Watson is more like a small forward, not really a, a ball handler. Uh, A.J. Casey is a four-man. Michael Nwako is a five. Uh, and, and Paul Jobe, he's kind of like a four-man as well. So Ja'Kai was the guy we called on. He, he did a nice job. But, you know, we, we need to be 100% healthy to be at our best. And I think if, if uh, you know, Keyshawn can get better and, and uh, Nigel can recover from whatever that injury was, you know, we'll, we'll be a, a much tougher team. Jim, on the possession with Nigel shooting the three in the closing seconds, can you talk about that possession where you're looking for them? What do you think of the shot? Yeah, he got the switch we wanted. You know, sometimes it's it's just up to the player to choose. And uh, he chose a long three. He's a great three-point shooter, so it's not out of character for him. Uh, was it the best shot that we could have gotten? You know, probably not, but... At the end of a close game like that, the one thing you don't want to do is turn the ball over. And you start running a play, and then you know someone makes a mistake, and you turn it over. And that's a lot worse than settling for a, a Steph Curry type three. We saw Keyshawn go through some warm-up stuff, but what was kind of, his, what was kind of the decision? Of, what was I, I just, uh, Sam Johnson, our trainer, just said, hey, the more exercise he gets for that ankle, the better. He's not able to play, but even just warming up gets that blood flowing and gets that movement back. And 
you know, he'll feel better and better as, as he progresses. So hopefully, I don't know if we'll have him this week or not, but uh, he's a tough kid and he's going to fight his way back as soon as he can. Coach, with seven games remaining, kind of just what's your outlook, you know, on the rest of the season you face these guys again, a couple more big matchups down the stretch? Yeah, my outlook is get ready for Clemson. And that's always been my outlook. If we'd won today, it's over with and got to get ready for Clemson. Today we lost, got to get ready for Clemson. That's it. Coach, do you think Carolina defended Nigel Packany differently from the first half to the second half? Yeah, they started doubling him. That's why, you know, uh, some of the scoring came came off of uh, Nigel gave it up uh, after he got double teamed and uh, Matthew Cleveland's three that he made came off of that double team. Uh, it was un- unfortunate. I, I didn't. I'm, I'll be looking forward to seeing the replay. Uh, but w- we got the ball right at the rim. Norshad had two guys on him. He went up very strong. But I, how was the score at that point? Were we down two or three? Two. What was it? Two. We were down two. How much time was left? Is that the 29 seconds or 20? I think it's 24.7. One more question. got hit on the way up? What? Did you think North I didn't see it. I, I just saw a crowd, you know. So, But I, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not looking forward to seeing it. Last question. What did you think of the defense? You guys forced uh, 16 turnovers. Yeah. Uh, 22 points off of it. But it seemed like there were some times where you guys would force a turnover and then give the ball up right back or not nail the shot and switch momentum. Just, do you think the guys had some opportunities with all those turnovers? I know this, that's very painful. You know, you do something really, really well and then you don't cash in. There were a couple of plays, I, I'll have to look at the tape. Our strategy was to keep the ball out of uh, Baycott's hands. But late in the game, we started to trap the ball screen and he rolled and our emphasis was, don't let him throw it to Baycott. And if they do throw it and get it to him, you got to guard the heck out of him. I don't want him getting a layup or a dunk. And he got like two or three layups. That's the way he scored at the end. I don't know if he ended up like. Two points in the first half. Yeah. So he, he ended up with four baskets in the second half. And I'm, I'm guessing three of those were on the roll. I, he, he didn't roll and catch it and make a move. He just rolled right to the rim and they threw it right to the rim and he just laid it in. You know, any big guy can, can score like that. I thought Norshad and Michael Nwako did a great job of keeping the ball out of his hands.